I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be starting on you I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be on sneaky move I Hi guys, my name is Ozzy and today I'm going to be doing a review on a very special shoe. If you live in the DMV area, the DC, Maryland, Virginia area, or even in Philly, in Pennsylvania, you already know how big and important and influential a pair of New Balances is. And for those of you that didn't know, this is a very big cultural thing. You know, when a, when a, when a boy becomes a man in the DMV, that's when he gets a pair of New Balances, I'm just saying. Everybody here, and any other place, this is seen as a dad shoe. But here, this is a lifestyle. This is where it's a comfortable part of the fit. It's chill, it's neutral. Comfortability, stylish. This is a very big thing in the DMV. In other places, this shoe doesn't get as much love unless it's like an older person. And and even then, older people are wearing like the, the old, like New Balances, like the 540s or some random other New Balance pair that we don't really rock. Up here, it's about the 990s, 992s, maybe occasionally some 574s, but 990s, pretty big deal up here. But anywho, oh yeah, new Steve Jobs, he was known for wearing the uh, New Balance 992s, but that's that's a story for another day. So anyway, as you can see, I got these New Balances for 137.93. I got these on eBay. I'll leave a link in the description, by the way. And also, um. Uh, the retail for these shoes, I believe it's 175 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's not on the box, but whatever the retail price, I'll put it on the screen. But usually retail for these shoes is $175. I got it for $137, so you know, that's like, I say $40. So that's great. So anywho, let's go ahead and get straight into the shoe. As you can see, the gray uh, N on here, it has like this metallic finish to it. And the best thing about all new balances, well, not all, but... 90% of new balances have a material called 3M. So like if light shines on it, it reflects and it has like this metallic look. So like if you're walking at night or if you're running at night, for whatever the reason may be, if you're just in a dark area with little light and light happens to shine on your shoe, you'll be visible because it'll reflect off the 3M on the shoe. So you have like the 3M here, the 3M there, parts around here. It's pretty cool on both ends. And of course, another key thing about New Balance is that they're all made in the USA. These were made in the United States of America. Most sneakers nowadays are made in China and sweatshops. So that's why New Balances usually cost so much because they're made directly in America. So no middleman, straight up. So as you can see right here, this says N-Gap, which is like this little technology. They used to use a thing called Absorb, like for the older models, but now they use N-Gap. So basically it's like this thing that makes the shoe comfortable in the heel part of the shoe because new balances were originally just directed towards older people but you know young people we catch on to all the cool stuff let me go ahead move the light over just a little bit so that you guys can see this so on the back right here it says new balance in red uh, i gotta shift the light a little bit more but yeah it says new balance in red let me go ahead and focus that for you guys as you can see the NB logo it says made in the US. Let me zoom in. It says made in the USA. Then it says New Balance right here on the heel. And it has like this shiny finish, which is pretty cool. And of course, right here you have like the paneling. Like the, the thing about New Balance that makes them so comfortable is that they have like all this mesh breathability. Like right here, you see the mesh paneling right here, right here, around the ankle. Even on the tongue as well. The whole tongue the whole tongue is mesh. Then as well as on the toe box and on the side. And then on the inside it's gray. And then it says new balance nine ninety. Let me zoom in a little bit. Probably put some B roll if this is too dark, but it says new balance nine ninety. And these are the version 4s, which is the current New Balance. So this is the 4 version. The New Balance 9 nice have been going on for a long time. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Lastly, I know I forgot to mention one thing. On the back right here, this is suede. This is cool. This shoe has suede, plastic rubber, 
mesh. It has like all these materials on it. And of course, another thing I, I almost forgot to mention is the soles right here. You can actually run in these shoes. I wouldn't recommend it. I, I feel like this shoe is better suited for like everyday lifestyle type thing. So like if you were walking or you like did a casual jog, like if you're about to do like a 500 meter dash, I wouldn't recommend wearing these. You know, the traction is pretty good. But for running, it wouldn't really hold up because this shoe has suede. A really good running shoe won't have suede because, you know, it'll mess up. The shoe will, like, break down faster. But anywho, like, for the sole part of the shoe, if it was just, like, the sole and then they, like, changed the materials on the upper, it would be better for running. But for me, I would just recommend using New Balance, the 990 V4s, just for walking and casual, like, moving around. Nothing too serious. You see it has, like, this little black shiny thing right here. And it says New Balance. So, yeah, the traction is pretty good. I mean, it's not for basketball, so don't go around on the court trying to play basketball and then break your ankles and then get mad at New Balance because these are not a basketball sneaker. But yeah, so for the next part of the video, I'm going to show you guys what they look like with different pairs of pants and jeans. That way, that way you guys can get a feel for how you can style them. And yeah, that's pretty much for this part of this video. Now on to the next part. Peace. I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be starting on you I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be on sneaky move I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Oh, I heard you gotta do Now every time I see him, I stun on him too I know he ain't finished true Ay. I'm riding solo all by myself, all in the cool Girl, it could be me and you Ay. I brought that bag out South Beach to flex ain't on your off you, girl, I just know you was a lesson You think that you was an angel straight out of heaven me, me and you still was a blessing me wrong and I still feel it in my chest I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo Now every time you see me, I be starting on you I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo You can see my way When you're feeling lonely I can pull up on you, baby When you're feeling lonely I can pull up on you, shorty When you're feeling lonely I can pull up on you, baby When you're feeling lonely Lonely I can pull up on you, baby When you're feeling lonely I can pull up on you, shorty When you're feeling lonely I can pull up on you, baby When you're feeling lonely
I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be starting on you I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up